Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Microsoft Surface 3. Now today's video is not about the tablet, but rather the accessories you're likely to want to pick up if you're in the market for a Surface 3 or have already purchased one. So first and foremost, let's start off with the Surface Pen. Now this was introduced with the Surface Pro 3. It is included with that tablet line but not with the brand new Surface 3. And that's because the Surface 3 is about accommodating a broader audience. It doesn't wear the Pro Tag for several reasons, but uh, the pen for one example is one way of cutting costs for users that never intend to actually use uh, the Surface Pen. I do recommend it. It is a great accessory at $50. You have the ability with a simple touch of that top button to open up OneNote, immediately start taking notes, and really part of the beauty of the entire Surface line is its pen or stylus input capability for note taking, annotating, drawing, whatever it may be. It's another level of creativity that the Surface line has been known for from day one. Uh, so a great accessory, but expensive. Uh, then you've got the type cover uh, three for the Surface, priced at $130. This is the most clean and, of course, proprietary integrated solution that's going to maintain the fit and finish of your Surface 3 tablet. But at $130, despite all of the convenience and great performance uh, that this gen has to offer in the form of a type cover, it's still very expensive and many users will be left feeling like it's simply too much. Uh, you also have a $200 dock that will allow you to extend the functionality of this tablet uh, through additional USB ports, uh, giving access to basically everything uh, without compromising the look or feel in the same way that we've had every generation accommodated in the Pro line, the Pro 1, uh, 2, and of course the 3. Uh, the tablet, or rather the dock, is different as it has been with basically every generation outside of one or two and that's what brings me to the Logitech K480. For those of you wondering this is a Bluetooth keyboard that you can see works perfectly as a stand as well almost an exact uh, fit right there literally uh, on the rubber uh, insert that allows you to prop any tablet in here uh, and that's what's beautiful about the K480 uh, for 50 US dollars or even less since it has been on the market for a little less than a year. I originally unboxed this and reviewed this roughly seven or eight months ago. And I thought it was a great device then because it allows you to control up to three different uh, tablets or computers, whatever you choose to pair it with over Bluetooth. Uh, the pairing process happens right here and you can select between PC and uh, mobile OS based uh, device. You can see the keyboard also accommodates all of those things. So whether we're talking about Apple, you can see uh, basically you have dual functioning keys. Uh, so I've got start here in order, of course, to deal with Windows 8.1. And it is accommodated in this keyboard as is Android and Apple. But today this is again all about the Surface 3 because I really think this is a great solution at $50 to not only accomplish a great keyboard solution instead of the very expensive type cover, but also in many ways uh, replacing the dock at $200. Again, it doesn't extend its capability or functionality by adding USB ports or anything of that nature, but it does create a little workstation, if you will, uh, that I think is very clean and really, again, a perfect fit. And just to give you a tour quickly around what this looks like uh, while it's docked, you can see you still have access to all of the ports, so you're not actually giving anything up by docking it. Uh, the only part that's actually docked is the bottom. Uh, so, and that is where the type cover or the actual docking system would come into play. So really a great fit, a very good keyboard, and then to boot, this will still work with basically any other computer in the house that has Bluetooth, any other tablet that has Bluetooth. Uh, and so that is just an even greater inherent value. Uh, so a lot to like again uh, just a quick look at how this works so basically you can use uh, you know the on-screen keyboard if you choose but why pair this and essentially i'm already working with a keyboard here and then if you have a mouse connected you still can because you do have a, uh, the available usb port there even though we're not expanding it in this case i'm using uh, the pen which i think is a better investment since most of you already own a usb a portable mouse of some sort in all likelihood uh, then you have quick access uh, you can use the keyboard to scroll of course I am in tablet mode now so that wouldn't be the area where you'd use it but still completely functional and 
it's just a great element uh, to have a keyboard that's comfortable, works as desired, and again, it's such a low cost, and yet seems to be, in a many ways, built specifically for this tablet. So something that I think a lot of you maybe didn't expect, or for those of you searching for a great value uh, solution for keyboard and docking, even though, of course, the Surface 3 does have its own kickstand, I don't think you really can beat the Logitech K480, especially when you take into account that its use and utility doesn't end with the Surface 3, but really just begins with it if you're purchasing it for the first time. Uh, again, because you can use this with up to three different devices. This is part of Logitech's intelligent theme, in my opinion, of making their peripherals more versatile uh, and giving you control over more devices from one station. And this does this absolutely beautifully with the multifunction keys. Uh, it is a plastic build, not the best build quality in the world, but again, consider the pricing. For $50, you've got more than enough room to still pick up the pen, and you haven't even approached the cost uh, of the type cover. So a lot to be said for the Logitech K480. That's really what I wanted to demonstrate today. A lot of the Windows buttons are built in here, so you're not working in a one-dimensional landscape, uh, and that is really nice to have. Um, whether you're in the desktop mode or uh, the tablet end of things. And remember, Surface 3 has ditched Windows RT for a full-blown Windows 8.1 experience in 64-bit uh, that'll eventually also be Windows 10 over the course of this summer. And that's what's so unique about this. Uh, so really, a great overall package already. All of you that have uh, my subscribers that have watched my Surface 3 coverage know what I think of this tablet. It is a game-changer when it comes to the mobile tablet world. Uh, because it destroys, in my opinion, just about every mobile OS uh, option in this price uh, point or structure. But then now with this keyboard option, which of course can be used with something like the Galaxy Tab S, the first device I reviewed it with, uh, it's just an incredible value and again, fit and finish. You can of course also turn the tablet in the event you wanted to dock it alongside something else like a phone. Uh, very easily could fit a phone in here and be multitasking that way as well. So a great accessory. I would say a must-have. Yes, it is bigger, heavier than the type cover. It does require a battery, but when you think about uh, the capability, granted it is missing the touchpad, uh, but a mouse, or in this case the pen, really does solve that in many ways. Of course, an inexpensive mouse, a better route, I would recommend uh, probably something uh, along the Logitech MX line. You have an incredible complete solution uh, without breaking the bank, at least at the proprietary level that Microsoft would have you. So a lot to like here. I mean, personally right now, the K480 is a favorite of mine for this, and you can see why, because again, it doubles not only as a type cover replacement, but for me also as a docking station replacement, since none of the ports are actually blocked by this solution. Even though we do have a kickstand, uh, and you could use any Bluetooth keyboard, again, just I really like the fit and finish here. Granted, I could do without the yellow accents, but that's not something we have options on. And for $50 or less, no one really should be too picky about that. So a lot to like here on the K480. Wanted to cover some accessories for this tablet. I know how popular it is uh, for all of you uh, that are interested. And for good reason, that's because it is a great piece of hardware. And part of what makes it great is that there is this wide open field of accessories, in this case, that perfectly fit the agenda the Surface 3 brings to the table. So uh, Surface 3, great. K480, a match made in heaven. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.